There are many ways to measure the acceleration due to gravity experimentally. The acceleration due to gravity is the acceleration experienced by an object in free fall at the surface of the Earth, assuming air friction can be neglected. It has the approximate value of 9.8 metres per second squared, although it varies with altitude and location. The gravitational acceleration can be obtained from theory by applying Newton's law of universal gravitation to find the force between the Earth and an object at its surface. Newton's law of universal gravitation for the force between two bodies is Fg equals to g m1 m2 over r squared, where m1 and m2 are the masses of the bodies, r is the distance between the centres of mass of the bodies, G is the universal gravitational constant, which has a current accepted value of 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. The force between the Earth and a mass M would be Fg equals to G Me M over Re squared, where Me and Re are the mass and the radius of the Earth respectively. For a particular location, G, Me, and Re are constant and may be grouped together under a single constant, g. So the final equation for g becomes g me over Re squared. For obvious reasons, g is sometimes called the local gravitational constant as it is dependent on the radius of the Earth. It will be numerically equivalent to the acceleration due to gravity on a spherical, non-rotating planet. If one evaluates the equation using the average values from Survey, the sixth edition, you'll obtain g equals to 9.834 metres per second squared. The real acceleration due to gravity will be different than the above value that I've just stated due to the centripetal and Coriolis effects. The values that follow were taken from the CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics, the 75th edition, and illustrates the variability of the value. As expected, the value is lower at the equator due to the centripetal force. If we do not know the mass of the planet, we can also determine the gravitational acceleration by looking at objects falling under the influence of gravity. Free-falling objects are in a state of acceleration. Specifically, they are accelerating at a rate of 9.8 metres per second squared. This is to say that the velocity of a falling object is changing by 9.8 metres per second every second. If dropped from a position of rest, the object will be travelling at 9.8 metres per second at the end of the first second, 19.6 metres per second at the end of the second second, and 29.4 metres per second at the end of the third second, and so on. Thus, the velocity of a free-falling object that has been dropped from a position of rest is dependent upon the time that it has fallen. The formula for determining the velocity of a falling object after a time t seconds is Vf equals to g times t, where g is the acceleration due to gravity. The above equation can be used to calculate the velocity of the object after any given amount of time when dropped from rest. Example calculations for the velocity of a free-falling object after 4 and 8 seconds are shown on the side.